right, so last night when I woke up working on my lights, I managed to kill my battery. So I took this one out my other BMW. I'm about to go ahead and jump the other battery. Um, so I got these. Also got the spray right here for the carb. Definitely need this right here, so. So yeah, I was working on my lights last night. Didn't get to this side yet, but. All right, people, so they're finally here. The uh, camshaft position sensors. Go ahead and take the uh, China sensors out and put these official ones in. All right, see what we have. Got the O-rings, the green ones. Okay. So you know it's official. Lifetime warranty. Here it is right here. All right, so the new sensors are in and here goes nothing. Uh, four by four lights started coming back on. So gotta check the, uh, you know, that piece again, but here we go. Still, still stuttering. Still skipping. Yeah. They ain't the cap shaft position sensors, so gotta do something else. I clear one of, I clear two of three codes I was getting. Well, now I'm getting in again, a four by four code. So I might have to do that fix again, but uh, enter the scan. I already had clear the codes last night, found one code and that's still the cap shaft position timing over retarded bank one. So you can hear a lot of vibrations. I thought it was the sensors. I thought it was the solenoids and stuff like that, but it's not. All right, so I'm coming at you guys with some more BMW X3 cosmetic accessories. So my BMW X3 is still inside the shop right now. Um, it's working, they can, they're working on the trans transmission right now as we speak. Um, it would have been done yesterday, but uh, when they put it on, they needed some other little O-ring or something on there. So they had to take it off and you know, they're reinstalling it and stuff like that. Hopefully that's the only thing that's wrong with it. Hopefully I can drive it around after that and it's, everything's good to go. Let you guys see what else I got. And this will be the last stuff I'll be buying for my car um, for a while. I already spent, I pretty much put enough money on it. Um, way more than I already had planned. So let's go ahead and get this out here. So we have side blinkers, smoke black. They got like a little, like a yellowish orange light, real bright. My BMW, uh, my driving gloves, you know. This is the oldest thing I had sit, uh, on. This is the oldest thing I had sitting inside my Amazon shopping cart. This has been inside my shopping cart for a good, um, for a real good, I don't know, like a whole year, two years, ever since I had my other BMW X3, which I still do have, getting rid of it for about 1500 Um you see it says $40 right here, but I don't think I paid $40, did I? I paid 35, it was like 35 for these gloves. These are actual official BMW gloves. So, they feel kinda thin though. Too damn thin to be official. And zoom in for y'all. They're on the thin side. You know how these gonna last. But anyways, I got the largest size they have. Man, these are not worth, I'm about to send these motherfuckers back. These are like super thin. I'm about to see how much, well, I'm recording my iPhone, but after we record this video, I'm about to see how much these was. These are like, I don't know if this how thin driving gloves supposed to be, but you see it has, it's official BMW. These motherfuckers are officially skinny. These are like 
as thin, I'm not even exaggerating. These are like as thin as latex gloves. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Damn, latex rubber gloves. <laughs> they, feel, I ain't gonna lie, they do feel good. They feel like some damn latex gloves, though. And like they gonna freaking rip or something. And my hands is big. I got the biggest size, and I still got room for more. You know what I'm saying? My hands is huge. I didn't know I had the hose right here. I don't think I remember that. Not really sure if I like these. I don't know, maybe that's how thin driving gloves are. I don't know, but it's funny because like every single time I get a package that's like multi-package and even though I'll be checking my packages and stuff, seeing where it's at and seeing when's it gonna, when it's gonna get here, I always forget like when I'm doing an unboxing, I always forget momentarily what I got. <laughs> it's crazy. Like I don't be knowing exactly, I don't be knowing what it is at all. I don't even know what the hell this is. I don't know what this is, or I'll be forgetting. <laughs> okay, so, boom. All right, so this is the brake pedal. I like how heavy it is, too, a little bit. The gas pedal. This is another thing that's old that I've been having since on my shopping cart for a very, very, very long time. Not got around, never got around to getting it, but see, I finally got it. Like it just uh, snaps on, so that's cool. Brake pedal. I do a little rubber. I got that feel. I'm gonna have links inside uh, the description for all this stuff as well. Oh, okay. This is my cup. This is another thing. So, all three of these things the gas pedal and what I say, those driving gloves and this coffee cup right here, especially this cup. This cup is actually the oldest thing I had inside my shopping cart for the longest. Never, ever got around to getting this. But like, you know what? I got me a new X3. It's been cold as hell lately. I might as well get me a BMW Cup E. Damn, come on. I'm messing up on the video. You know what I'm saying? Boy, boy got them skills. Now, let me stop. So yeah, here we go right here. Let me see if it feel like it's gonna rub off, no? Okay, I like how it is. I like how it's got the little silver with the little black and the little BMW logo. Okay. And last but not least, which I was not planning on buying. That's why my budget went over budget on my accessories I was going to buy for my BMW X3. And since I had the screen for my X3 already, uh, I wasn't, you know, wasn't even thinking about getting this at all. But I seen this on sale, you know what I'm saying? $25 off the regular price of $99.99. Been having this. This is another thing I had inside my shopping cart for a very, very, very long time. Um, and I've been wanting to get, been hesitant every time I've been, you know, have a little bit of money, still been hesitant to pull the trigger on it. And, you know, finally got around to getting it. I felt like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and grab this because if I'm gonna put all this money and stuff, stuff into my BMW and stuff, and it already got broken into before, you know, I might as well get something that's going, you know, somewhat, you know, have me some capabilities of recording stuff. And the way you can record your, your front facing camera and your rear view camera at the same time, like, you know what I'm saying, picture in picture, that was dope. So anyways, here's some stuff it says right here, wide angle, loop video. Loop video recording means that once you record and it fills up, it starts to record over the oldest, you know, recording that you, you know, last record. Night vision, that's real good. Reverse visual. Um, touch screen, so it's a touch screen. It's like it's like a mirror. It's a rear view mirror, and it has a screen inside the mirror. So it's a touch screen, um, double recorder, G sensor means that I, I didn't know what that was until people were saying inside their video where if you get into an accident, it it records like you know that little segment or something like that of what happened and logs it or something like that. And then parking monitor. Here it is right here. There's the camera, you can slide out, slide in. Here's how you attach. Attach it to your mirror with, with this. Put it, then boom. What the hell? Oh, so it's battery powered? Oh, whoa, okay. I didn't know that it can run without being plugged in. I didn't know that. You can see a little battery indicator right there. Oh my goodness! I can never stop. But I didn't know that. That kind of that kind of impressed me right now. Make me make me smile. If this, was, if this was a girl right now. You'd be having me blush, baby. <laughs>
I know I'm goofy as hell. That's why y'all be watching me. Anyways, yeah, man, let me turn this bad boy back on. There's a little button right there. What? It's making noises and shit? I like it so you can disconnect it, you know, real easily from off your uh, windshield. In this case, you know, you don't want to trust where you're at. Or in this case, you want to just bring it inside the house and transfer the data because it got, you know, micro uh, SD, you know. Man, this is dope. Why is it turning off, though? It says something about DVR or something. Let me turn it back on. Let me see. DVR will be turned... Turn off for 10 seconds. Please connect to power source. Oh, so it says connected to power source. So I guess the battery is low or something. Anyways, yeah. So yeah, I like it already. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's pretty dope. And like I said, it acts as a mirror as well, so you can see the reflection. Here's the uh, backup camera right here. So like a little hinge, pretty dope. Never ever had a backup camera, so, and I will be, be installing this myself. I could pay someone probably a hundred bucks to put all this stuff in, but no. All right, and this is the cigarette lighter thing, which you'll be using to power that. Hope my damn cigarette lighter works. My other X3 didn't work. Boom, here it is right here. And then a cleaning cloth, and then a prime tool extra rubber grips just in case you got a huge mirror you have you got two extra grips for this for different elasticities and strengths stuff like that so yeah man i think i'm gonna go ahead and stick with the stock one see how that works see how uh strong that sticks on i'm loving it but what i plan on doing is every single day record uh, myself driving every single time no matter where I'm going even if it's straight to the store because you never know what you pick up you never know you know there's a lot of situations where I wish I was recording and stuff like that but um yeah so I'm happy with this so far so anyway that's gonna do it for this video thank you guys for watching and I catch you guys on the next one um if you guys want to see uh back in any other stuff I don't know about these gloves but besides these gloves even if you guys are liking the gloves i'm gonna have the everything inside the description down below so you guys can uh you know check it out peep it out and yeah